Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to Low Emission Development to Achieve Carbon Neutrality and SDGs, the 12th International Greenhouse Guest Conference, co-hosted by the Greenhouse Guest Inventory and Research Center of Korea and United Nations Office of Sustainable Development. My name is Shin Ji Ye, and indeed, it's a great honor for me to take part of today's program as your MC. Today, the Decade of Action in Korea and the second phase of UNOSD will be launched. And we will be also having an in-depth discussion on the synergies and joint implementation of climate actions and SDGs for recovery, and also the preparing for the carbon neutrality by 2050. And today, we're hosting the conference as the sideline event of the 2021 P4G Cell Summit. So we invited the experts all around the world to join us and share the most recent climate change-related knowledges. I am incredibly excited to learn from their insights, and I feel that the participants will be feeling the same as I do. So without further ado, let us kick off today's conference opening ceremony by inviting to the stage Mr. Hung Won So, the president of Greenhouse Gas Inventory and Research Center for his opening remarks. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome him with a big round of applause. Yeah, there you keep in the bun. Thank you very much. Distinguished guests, good afternoon. I am Seo Hong Won, head of the Greenhouse Gas Inventory and Research Center. First of all, I would like to thank Minister Han Jong-e of the Environment of Korea and also Mayor Park Nam-chun of Incheon Metropolitan City. Thank you very much. And also Liu Jun min Undersecretary General of the UN and also the Executive Vice President of International Campus and University. Hi, Yun Sub, thank you very much for joining us today and thank you very much for your remarks. I would also like to thank the presenters and the discussants for being here today to share our experience in climate crisis response and the SDGs, as well as the latest research. I would also like to thank all those joining us online. Korea has been doing its best to fight off COVID-19, but of course we cannot relax yet, and that is why the International Conference on SDGs and Climate Response is being live streamed. Now, more recently, we see that the cold wave and heat wave, as well as drought, flood, these disasters are showing us that climate crisis is right in front of us, that it is a major threat that is more or less man-made. The international society has also been responding to climate change. It's been more than 30 years. There was the climate change agreement in Rio in 1992, followed by the Kyoto Protocol in 1997 and the Paris Agreement in 2015. So the humanity has been trying to muster our wisdom in order to reduce carbon emission. In the 2015 UN General Assembly, they have also come up with the Sustainable Development Goals to be fulfilled by 2030 together with the major countries countries as well as the developing countries. So we still have a long way to go, but perhaps we are still indulging in the abundance and the gratification brought on by fossil fuel. The IPCC's Global Warming 1.5 Degree Special Report and also other studies are showing us that the time to hesitate is long gone. It is now time for action. It is time for me to start action. If you miss the bus, it comes back. But if the earth goes beyond the tipping point, there is no turning back. It is in this context, today's event is going to be quite meaningful in that we will be able to take a look into the goals and the targets of the major countries as well as the status of their preparation. The conference today, under the topic of low emission development to achieve carbon neutrality and SDGs, uh, has been organized 
by the GIR as well as the UNOSD with the urgency to actively respond to the climate crisis. At this conference, we will be discussing and also sharing the climate response by the different countries and also their strategy to achieve the SDGs so that we will be able to move toward the low-carbon society. First, we will be launching the Decade of Action in Korea with the goal of achieving the SDGs by 2030 so that we will be able to wade through the worst health crisis of our time while at the same time pursuing the SDGs at the same time. In the first session, there would be discussions by Denmark, Germany, and Korea regarding the, their experience and plan for climate action as well as the SDG and also the synergy between those two. In session two, we would be sharing the carbon neutrality 2050 strategies by the different countries, by, for example, by the UK, China, and Korea. Through this conference, I do hope that we will be able to learn from each other's experience and situation so that we will be able to accept what has been successful and try to reduce the trials and errors. Overcoming the climate crisis is by no means easy, but there clearly is a way for us to approach this in a more rational and more efficient manner. And I do hope that this conference will be the compass that will point us in that path. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, the ideas and the wise solutions that would be suggested by yourselves at this conference will be the valuable basis for us to move closer toward achievement of the SDGs and response to climate crisis. Once again, I would like to thank all the participants, both online and offline, and I do hope this event will be an opportunity for us to gain insight and meaningful results. Thank you. Thank you very much, President So, for your opening remarks. Well, as he has mentioned, the humanity has been trying so long in order to reduce the greenhouse gas emission. However, the world requires more effort, and today's conference will serve as an important milestone for us to enhance those efforts. And next, we have the Minister Han jung from the Ministry of Environment on the video to give her welcoming remarks. Let us welcome her through the screen. Hello everyone, it's a pleasure to meet you. I am Han jung Minister of Environment. I would like to extend my welcome to Under Secretary General Lee Jun min of UN Economic and Social Affairs, as well as Mayor Park Nam Chun of Incheon City, as well as all the other guests from all over the world for joining us for the 12th International Greenhouse Gas Conference. This is a very meaningful year for everyone in the spirit of the Paris Agreement in which everyone participates together with the spirit of sustainable development where no one is left behind. We are gathered here to renew our commitment for the next 10 years, and we are holding the P4G Summit that brings together the wisdom from people uh, from all walks of life. In this regard, today's 12th International Greenhouse Gas Conference is uh, also being held under the theme of Low Emission Development to Achieve Carbon Neutrality and SDGs. Today, case studies and experiences from many countries will be shared to increase the synergy for the implementation of the climate action and SDGs, including green recovery packages such as Korea's Green New Deal and the role of emissions trading to support climate change in developing countries. In order for the world to move toward a true green recovery, it is very important to achieve inclusive green recovery through support for and cooperation with developing countries. Because because COVID-19 and the climate crisis are all the more severe in developing countries. The UN Office for Sustainable Development, which opened in Incheon in 2011, has conducted various education and policy research projects to achieve sustainable development goals for 170 countries over the past 10 years. And the Greenhouse Gas Information Center under the Ministry of Environment has been working with the UNFCCC to train greenhouse gas experts in developing countries for the past 10 years. 
I think today's conference is more meaningful in that the decade of action for SDG 2030 will be launched and projects to provide tailored support to developing countries will begin and that the phase two projects of UNOSD will kick off. The Korean government also promises to expand support for developing countries to help achieve sustainable development goals and realize inclusive carbon neutrality. I would like to sincerely thank Mr. Park chang head of UNOSD, President So hung won of Greenhouse Gas Inventory and Research Center and other related organizations, and I wish everyone from all over the world good health and happiness. Thank you. Thank you very much, Minister, for sending your remarks. Well, this is indeed a crucial year for us to achieve our goals towards 2030. And most important factor is that we should leave no one behind. So in order to do so, let us put our heads together and walk towards the best. And moving on, we have Mr. Park Nam-chun, the mayor of Incheon Metropolitan City, on video to give his welcoming remarks. Let us watch it through the screen. 반갑습니다. 대한민국 인천 광역시장 Good afternoon. 반갑습니다. Welcome. I am Park Nam Chun, the mayor of the Incheon Metropolitan City. I would like to welcome everyone joining us online and offline at this conference. And I would like to thank the members of the UNOSD as well as the Greenhouse Gas Inventory and Research Center for enabling this meeting. I would also like to thank the experts from home and abroad. Thank you very much for sharing your experience. I would also like to thank the Minister of Environment, Han Zhongye, and also Executive Vice President Ha yun of International Campus of Yonsei University and Liu Jianmin, Under Secretary General for Economic and Social Affairs of the UN. The International Greenhouse Gas Conference for the past 11 years has been the forum for sharing the experience and best practices of greenhouse gas reduction in different countries. This time, with the P4G Seoul Summit just around the corner, the two centers have joined forces to create an even richer set of discussions. This year is the first year of the implementation implementation of the Paris Agreement. With COVID-19 sweeping through the world, international solidarity and cooperation for climate action have never been more important. Climate change affects our lives in various shapes and sizes, not only rainstorms, snowstorm, drought and floods, glacial melting and sea level rising, but also in the form of COVID-19. Thus, the Korean government is also rolling out specific actions to combat climate change, such as the Declaration of Carbon Neutrality by 2050 and the Korean New Deal. Incheon also joined the Powering Past Coal Alliance, taking the first step toward carbon neutrality and set up the Green New Deal as an important part of the Incheon New Deal. Ladies and gentlemen of the world, the decade of action is going to be a crucial period for us to strengthen capability to act against climate change and define the agenda. And in this process, I do hope that this conference as well as the P4G summit will be able to come up with the kind of solutions that can be implemented by the international society, nations and the subnational regions and the individuals to renew their commitment. The UNOSD has been in Songdo, Incheon, for 10 years now. And as a partnership organization, it has been a pleasure for us to be providing support and services to the UNOSD. Now, Incheon will continue to cooperate with the UNOSD to achieve the SDGs by 2030. I count on your support and cooperation as well in this journey. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mayor Park, for your welcoming remarks. As mentioned, well, the COVID-19 is still rampant all around the world that requires for global action. And with the Green New Deal, Korea will leave no effort behind and Incheon will be with us all the time. And moving on, we have Under Secretary General for Economic and Social Affairs of the United Nations, Mr. Ryu Jun Min, on the video to give his congratulatory remarks. Let's watch it through the screen. Your Excellency, Mr. Han Jun Ai, Minister of Environment, 
Mr. Park Nanchun, Mayor of Yinchun Metropolitan City, Professor Shun Huang Su, President of Yonsei University. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to join you today at this International Greenhouse Gas Conference. It's titled Low Emission Development to Achieve Carbon Neutrality and Sustainable Development Goals is the most timely. The COVID-19 pandemic continues to impact every aspect of our lives, including efforts to achieve the transformative sustainable development goals. Some of the gains already achieved have regressed and climate change and environmental degradation are further intensifying the challenges of implementation. Indeed, the past decade was the hottest on record. Dangerous greenhouse gas are at levels not seen in three million years. As the Secretary General Antonio Guterres warns us, these are signs that Mother Nature is not waiting. The 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and the Paris Agreement on Climate Change continue to lead our actions towards sustainable and low-carbon development. For green recovery and carbon neutrality, it is critical to take an integrated approach, one that creates synergies and minimizes trade-offs between the goals. We have less than a decade to achieve the SDGs by 2030. I'm delighted that the government of Republic of Korea is launching the decade of action to deliver the goals supported by stakeholders. The United Nations Secretary General has called for a global coalition for carbon neutrality by 2050. Last year, the Republic of Korea announced its commitment to reach net zero emissions by 2050, and the list of joining countries is growing. Now we need to move fast to turn pledges into actions. The Department of Economic and Social Affairs, UNDESA, supports countries in their efforts to achieve the 2030 Agenda. The United Nations Office for Sustainable Development, which is a part of UNDESA, has an important role to play in these efforts. It provides support through knowledge sharing, capacity development, research, and partnership building. I'm pleased to note that UNOSD has succeeded in implementing its mandate, benefiting 172 countries. Today, it is regarded as a hub for innovation in knowledge sharing for sustainable development. On behalf of the United Nations, I thank the Ministry of the Environment of the Republic of Korea, Yonsei University, and the Incheon Metropolitan City for their continued support for the operationalization of UNOSD. Over the next decade, UNOSD is expected to continue supporting countries to meet the SDGs, particularly the least developed countries, providing tailored policy advice and capacity building opportunities will be of important focus of your work. Today's event is an excellent opportunity to discuss practical ways and means to achieve the 2030 Agenda and the Paris Agreement, including in three important approaches. First, by taking action to build a global coalition for net zero emissions by mid-century. Second, by making this a decade of transformation where all countries should submit new and more ambitious nationally determined contributions for mitigation, adaptation, and finance. Third, by translating these commitments into concrete immediate action, the UN Secretary General has also called for putting a price on carbon ending subsidies for fossil fuels and ramping up investments in renewable energy and green infrastructure. 
I hope today's event will lead to a successful hosting of the 2021 Seoul P4G Summit. Without a doubt, our shared commitment to implementing the 2030 agenda remains as strong as ever. I'm therefore pleased that the global platform partnering for green growth and global goals 2030, the P4G, is working to make the SDGs a reality for all people and everywhere. I look forward to the outcome of your deliberations. I wish you a great success. I thank you. Well, thank you very much, Under Secretary General, for delivering your warm congratulatory remarks. Well, as he has mentioned, conserving Mother Nature is the pending issue of our time, and it is not waiting for us any longer that we have to act now. And now, next on our list, we have Mr. Yun Sop Ha, the Executive Vice President of International Campus of Yonsei University, to give his welcoming remarks, congratulatory remarks. Please welcome him with a big round of applause. Honored guests, distinguished colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It's my great honor and privilege to congratulate the opening of the 12th International Greenhouse Gas Conference on Low Emission Development to achieve carbon neutrality and sustainable development goals. I'm glad that the United Nations Office for Sustainable Development and the Greenhouse Gas Inventory and Research Center of Korea are hosting this timely event that integrates two issues of great significance, climate change and sustainable development. I recognize that this conference will play a significant role in sharing the current discourse on synergies between climate action and the SDGs and disseminating the best practices at the national level. Ladies and gentlemen, in 2015, the international community agreed to limit global warming below 1.5 degrees Celsius and deliver the sustainable development goals by 2030. Now it's 2021. The United Nations has called for the decade of action, which speaks to the momentous time frame to deliver the 2030 agenda. I cannot agree more that it's crucial to accelerate and scale up solutions for sustainable development. Global, local, collective, and individual actions are required to build the future we want. The UN Sustainable Development Office, UNISD, has launched the second phase of the project this year, strengthening their roles for producing tangible and substantial impacts to achieve the SDGs. On behalf of Yonsei University, I'm sending my sincerest congratulations to our partner, UNOSD, on its new beginning. For the last 10 years, UNOSD has shown remarkable achievements in knowledge sharing, capacity building, research, and partnership building for sustainable development. In its progress, Yonsei University has closely worked with UNOSD. For example, last year, the two organizations co-hosted youth summer camp to raise youth awareness for sustainable development and the importance of their role in realizing it. During the decade of action, Yonsei University will actively support and collaborate with the UNOSD, especially in the area of policy research which will assist the developing countries in designing appropriate policies, strategies, and actions to accelerate the achievements of the SDGs. Yonsei University is also making efforts to further sustainable development goals. In 2017, the Institute for Global Engagement and Empowerment was established to contribute to the implementation of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development by integrating various missionary and volunteer activities within the university, directing intellectual and human resources to address social issues 
and educating the next generation of global citizens. The former Secretary General of the United Nations, Ban Ki-moon, decided to join Yonsei's efforts for sustainable development as the honorary chair of the Institute for Global Engagement and Empowerment. He's playing an active role in furthering SDGs, especially hosting a global forum that is Global Engagement and Empowerment Forum on Sustainable Development. It is an annual international event where all stakeholders, including global leaders and experts, convene to explore the role of universities in, in the implementation of the SDGs and how they can cooperate with each other as global knowledge partners. We look forward to witnessing invigorated efforts for achieving sustainable development during the decade of action. Yonsei University will also continue to act for a cleaner, more inclusive, and resilient future for all. I would also once more like to thank our participants for joining us today. I appreciate your efforts to gather and discuss such important matters. I look forward to learning from your insights of the next few hours. I wish all the participants good health and happiness. Thank you.